In terms of approach to treatment and how this may be relevant in clinical practice is that is to recognize that the window of perimenstrual migraine may be somewhat flexible or, or longer in some women than in others and may fluctuate from cycle to cycle. That is, women who ha may have very prominent menstrually related attacks one month may not experience the same menstrually related attacks next month. Um, so we have population level data to suggest that and we also have other data that, that I won't be going into to explain that. Um, the, so, so number one is asking a woman about perimenstrually related attacks is relevant. Um, not expecting for them to be reliably occurring with every menstrual cycle is perfectly fine and actually in fact often frequently happens. Um, and that the window may be wider than described in the classification of minus two to plus three. And that in that case, one would tailor the, the preemptive treatment during those days and start a little earlier. Um, headache diary is always a very good tool, and I would advise anyone who suspects that the patient may have menstrually related migraine um, to, it, particularly in those cases, encourage the patient to keep a very detailed diary uh, around the menstruation in particular because that would help identify the onset of first perimenstrual attacks and guide preemptive treatment. And what I mean by preemptive treatment is that women can be started on either um, the NSAIDs, such as naproxen is the typical choice, 550 milligrams twice daily, uh, a day on the day of winter when they get the first headache, or sometimes what I often do, I will advise them if they know if they have a predictable migraine to start, start the day before. Um, and then, or with a triptan, with a longer acting triptan, such as a near triptan, uh, twice daily. Uh, during about, for about five to seven days maximum during the treatment of perimenstrual attacks. Um, and this approach works well in uh, a large number of women, with uh, especially those that have reliable attacks. Additionally, also realizing that women with menstrually related attacks will have significant burden of migraine and that they may, even with preemptive treatment, need rescue therapy that is taking an additional acute medication and one can follow the same prescribing uh, guidelines as they typically use for acute treatment or whatever works best for the patient. Um, though the timing can be fine-tuned for perimenstrual attacks. Um, and understanding that perhaps uh, women with, peri with menstrually related migraine may not as quickly perceive the coming on of their attacks. And therefore that if they know that they're in their window vulnerability, perhaps encouraging them to be more likely to treat rather than delaying and waiting for a full-blown attack because from this preliminary data from the mass study, we see that the peak intensity of attack is reached after 60 minutes. And that may be too, if one is waiting for peak intensity to hit, which may be within two hours, that may be too already very late to treat.